Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make cheesy baked spaghetti, so let's get started with the video. We're going to begin by making the ricotta cheese mixture. In a bowl, add 1 cup of ricotta cheese, 2 ounces of cream cheese, 2 ounces of borsin garlic and herb cheese, a quarter cup of shredded mozzarella cheese, a quarter cup of shredded or grated parmesan cheese, a quarter teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of pepper, and one tablespoon of parsley. Then mix everything together until well combined. When you're finished, set your cheese mixture to the side. Next, in a pot filled with water, add salt. Bring the water to a boil and then add your spaghetti noodles. Cook the noodles for however long it says to on the package. Next, in a large pan over medium heat, add olive oil. Then add one pound of the ground meat of your choice. I'm using ground turkey meat. Break up the ground meat and then add a half a cup of diced onions and a half a cup of diced green bell peppers. Next, add your seasonings. I added seasoned salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, Creole seasoning, and Italian seasoning. Then, continue to cook the ground meat until it has browned and completely cooked through. Once it is finished cooking, add 32 ounces of your favorite tomato sauce. I'm using ragu, chunky tomato, garlic, and onion sauce. Once you've mixed everything together, take some of the sauce and place it in a bowl and then set it to the side to use later. Next, add the spaghetti noodles and mix them into the sauce. Once everything is mixed together, we can move on to the next step. In a pan, add the sauce you saved before. Make sure to spread it out evenly. Then add half of the spaghetti. Then add the cheese mixture. Once you've added the cheese mixture, spread it out evenly throughout the pan. Next, add the other half of the spaghetti. Once you've finished adding the rest of the spaghetti, add some shredded mozzarella and sharp cheddar cheese on top. When you're finished, bake the spaghetti at 350 degrees for 25 to 30 minutes. Once the spaghetti has finished cooking, add some parsley on top and then enjoy. And this is the finished result. 
this baked spaghetti was absolutely delicious. It's cheesy and tastes great and it's super easy to make. Alright, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Everything I used in this video will be down in the description below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!